Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute and simple knit wrist warmers. This is a really beginner friendly pattern that you can finish in less than a day and it's a good way to practice knit and purl stitches as well as a little 2x2 two two ribbing. I've linked the pattern that I created for these in the description below if you'd like to support me and use that as another way to follow along. So first we're going to need to gather our supplies. You're going to need two balls of yarn in the colors of your choice. For this pattern, I recommend using a worsted weight yarn, which normally correlates to a needle size of about five millimeters, give or take. You could do 5.5 or 4.5, but I'm using five millimeter needles. You can figure out the yarn type that you have by looking at the label on your yarn. It normally will give you a recommended needle size for that specific yarn. And if you don't have a label, you need to match the gauge of the pattern. You will need a pair of needles. They can be circular needles or straight needles. This pattern is knitted flat, so it really doesn't matter what needles you use. It's just based on personal preference. You'll need a darning needle to stitch the sides of the arm warmers together at the end, a measuring tape, and a pair of scissors. All of the items that I'm using in this video will be linked below in the description. Once you've gathered all of your supplies, it's time to start knitting. We'll start by making a slip knot and casting on 24 stitches or 28 stitches if you want to make the size medium large instead of small. These arm warmers do stretch out a bit so they normally will fit most hand sizes but if you are worried about them being too small then I do recommend casting on the extra four stitches to make the bigger size. You can use any cast on method that you like but here's the link to the method I'm using today which is my favorite method. Whatever cast on method you choose to use, you'll want to leave a long tail of around 15 to 20 inches for seaming at the very end. have everything casted on we'll begin by creating the little cuff of the wrist warmer and we'll do this by knitting knit two purl two for four rows knit two purl two is exactly how it sounds you're gonna want to knit two stitches purl the next two stitches knit two stitches purl the next two stitches and so on for four rows After you've completed your ribbing, you're going to want to join your second color of yarn and begin to knit in stockinette stitch, switching your yarn color every two rows.
rows in one color and you're ready to switch to the next, simply bring that yarn up from the side and begin to knit with it, trying your best not to get both yarns tangled as you go. switching colors for the stripes until your work measures about two inches and you've made three stripes. For the next row, we're gonna do an increase row, which means we're gonna increase a few stitches on this row to make a little bit more room for your hand. We're gonna begin like normal and just knit the first stitch. Then we're gonna knit the stitch but we're not gonna take it out. We're gonna wrap it around and then knit through the back loop and then take it out. So you've just made an extra stitch. Then you're gonna keep knitting until you have two stitches left on your left needle. You're gonna do the same thing that you did in the beginning, but reversed, so we're gonna make one by knitting through the stitch, not taking it out, knitting again through the back of the loop, and then sliding it off, and knitting the last stitch. and then you're all done with your increased row and we can get back to knitting normally. The next row is a purl row and you can normally tell purl rows because you're knitting on the wrong side of your work, the side that doesn't show that pretty stockinette stitch pattern. So you'll always be purling on the wrong side of your work for this pattern. So we're gonna purl one row and then we're gonna switch colors and continue in stockinette stitch. You'll keep knitting in the stockinette stitch pattern, switching colors for the stripes, until your work measures around 6.5 inches and you've just finished a wrong side row, a purl row. You should have 17 stripes in total. Now it's time to cast off and complete your first fingerless glove. So to cast off, we're just gonna cast off really loosely. We're not gonna try and make it tight or anything. And we're gonna wanna leave a 10 to 12 inch tail. And then we'll tie that off. If you're not sure how to cast off, I recently just made a short little video on how to do that. I'll leave that right here. But there's also so many great sources on YouTube for how to cast off. So just a simple cast off and then we will seam our sides together.
Using the mattress stitch, we're gonna seam from the top for two inches or around two inches, stopping for the thumb hole. And then we're gonna seam up from the bottom, stopping for the thumb hole. I recommend you just try on as you go for the best fit. Then you're just going to want to weave in all of those loose ends to the inside of your work. Flip your work to the right side, try on your glove, and you should be all good to go. to do is make another pair you can make it the same color or you could switch it up and make it completely different for like a mismatched pair I think that would be really cute I'll leave some resources down below for things that I didn't go over in as much detail like the mattress stitch and like seaming the sides together but that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was easy for you to follow along. There will definitely be more like it in the future. The gloves that I made in this video are available on my website, michellenia.com. And you can find me on Instagram for many knitting and sewing updates. I'd love to talk to you there. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.